welcome to my first ever video. Um, today I have a sticker organization video. Um, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not going to um, really talk about um, exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to give you a little bit of rundown and then I want to answer some questions. So this is my current sticker organization. Um, I'm going to switch it up just because I hate this binder. It does not work for me at all. Um, half the time I don't even look into this binder because it's just so inconvenient. But um, you'll see I'm putting them in a little basket and in little dividers. Um, I'm using labels from this book. Um, and I'm gonna label everything right now and then I'll go ahead and go through each um, category, go through all of the stickers um, and put them in their folder. But um, I do want to answer some questions just because this is my first video. I know a lot of people don't know me. Um, and just in case anyone's interested. Um, so the first question is, what is your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Um, very true to that. Um, I'm not really into astrology, but um, I do have my sign tattooed on me. And I do believe that... In my personal opinion, I am very true to my sign. Um, next question is, how do you feel right now? Um, <laughs> very anxious. Um, it's just the whole YouTube thing. It's very overwhelming. Um, but I told myself, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. And what's the worst that can happen? I mean, I'm doing this for me. And hopefully other people like it. Um, but the next question is, what is your favorite movie? Um, I have a lot. So, I, I can't even... If I say one, it's probably in my top five. And the first one that's coming to mind is 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, but I, I know there's at least five to ten that I can say are my all-time favorite movies. But that's just the one that comes to mind right now. Um, next question is, what is your favorite song? Hands down, Paramore, Misery Business. Um, next question is, name three things you love. Um, my husband, my three kids, and planning. <laughs> um, next question is, what three things make you happy? Probably the same three things I love. <laughs> um, what is your favorite food? Um, I am... A big time foodie um, I can't be picky but um, I try my best to try new things um, sometimes I'm not always good at it but <laughs> I try but I can't necessarily say one like my top favorite food next one is how many tattoos or piercings do you have um, I have two tattoos like I said I have my zodiac sign um, that one's my biggest and first tattoo. It's on my um, arm. Um, and then I have a butterfly. If you, you can see it in the video. Um, <laughs> comment down below if you know where that butterfly is from. <laughs> I'm curious to see how many people recognize it. But yeah, that's my second tattoo. Um, Piercings, I, right now, I only have my ears pierced. Um, when I was younger, before I had kids, um, I had um, two lip piercings. But other than that, I haven't, I don't have anything else or haven't had anything else. Um, the next question is, what do you prefer, scary movies or happy endings? Um, to be honest, I love scary movies. I will always pick a scary movie before a happy ending. But I do love my happy ending movies, which is why 10 Things I Hate About You is probably my, in my top 5 and 10. Um, next question is, which do you prefer, a computer or television? Um, neither. It depends what we're talking about. So for homework, I obviously I prefer my computer. Um, for watching, I prefer a tablet or my phone. I watch most of my YouTube videos um, on my phone and 
most of my streaming stuff on my tablet. I very rarely watch TV, and if I do, it's with my husband or my kids. Um, the next question is, when was the last time you cried? <laughs> Literally this morning. Um, next question is, do you speak any other language aside from English? Yes, I do. Um, I also speak Spanish. Um, I'm not 100% great at it, but I still speak Spanish. I'm Salvadorian. Um, the next question is, what is your favorite TV show? <sighs> Same thing with the movies. I have so many, um, but my all-time favorite is um, Vampire Diaries. Um, but I also really like Gossip Girl, the original one, um, Orphan Black, True Blood, those are up there too. Um, so, now planner related questions. Um, you will see most of my favorite shops, obviously, in this video. Um, my most used are probably, you know, Once More With Love, Paper and Milk, Paper Shire. Um, but I do have a good mix of a couple. Um, the ones that are, the larger sheets I'm um, doing right now, um, I'm going to put them all in the first section just because I'll sort those out afterwards off camera just because if I did that now, this video would be so long. I also, off camera cut the tabs um just to save some time on that too and then any sheets that I leave in the binder um I'm either going to make additional tabs for them or um sort them out later on but um I have everything alphabetized and if it's not alphabetized it's because um it's closer to a category that was closer um in line with the alphabet so um, just in case you see something out of place, that's why. But, um, this is not my entire collection. Before I started growing this binder, um, I decided to move them all into a reusable sticker binder. So I still have a lot of my stickers in there too, but I didn't like that. Um, although it is convenient and I use most of those stickers, um, rather than these because they were in the binder, um, I still want to use, you know, my newer stickers, so this is why I changed everything up here, and obviously I can't put those in this, um, organization because they're on reusable sticker paper, but, yeah, so I'll go through each category, um, I'll answer a few more questions, so planner related, my favorite sticker shops, um, as far as kits, obviously SPC, um, Crest Press, um, Jessica Hart, um, those are probably my top three. Um, th those being my top three, I am subscribed to all three of those mysteries. Um, and then I do really like, as far as like foil, um, Sticker Obsession. I mean, <laughs> I'm so sad she's closing, but you know, I understand. But she definitely is one of my favorites. Plana Hannah. And as far as scripts, Letters to Apollo. I also like Plana Hannah. Um, my biggest one was Kinsey's Creations, but unfortunately she's also closing. Um, and I do have some scripts from Sugarbox as well. Um, favorite YouTube channels as far as planning. Um, Carly Plans, Plana Hannah, um, SPC, uh, Kirsten, Alt Girl Plans. Um, there's so many other ones that I just, I, I can't even remember. <laughs> there's just so many. Um, oh my gosh, sticker kits. Um, another favorite shop is Simply a Mess. Um, I absolutely love her shop. Um, she's so affordable, great quality. 
Um, but my favorite, favorite thing to get from her shop is anything Harry Potter related. Um, just, I, I just love all of her, um, Harry Potter, um, art sets. But, um, yeah. This video is longer than I thought it would be. I have too many stickers. No, I don't. Is, is that ever a thing in the planner community? Can you have too many? But, um, yeah, let me talk about what the future holds for this channel, or at least what I want um, to put out there. Oh, by the way, I also have some scripts um, in these categories that are specific to those categories. Um, I don't have them in my script organization because... Um, I tend to pull these um, more often but so some of the other stuff that I want to bring to the channel is obviously plan with me's right now I'm using um, an Oro scale with cross press inserts um, while I really love ring bound I'm I'm so over it I I miss spirals so I do currently use an A5 wide spiral from um, Sadie Stickers. Um, I love it. Um, the paper is still forgiving. Um, I just bought another spiral from her um, to use solely for Plan With Me's for this channel. So I'll be doing some back planning. Um, I also use a B6 spiral from Printpression for um, pre-planning that's more of a personal planner budgeting all that stuff um, I try to share um, my base spreads but that doesn't always happen um, but I do always share the base for my a5 wide which I use that as more of a journal type um, planner and then my aura style I also always post on Instagram those spreads um, so those I won't necessarily be bringing to the channel, but the new A5 wide, um, I'm going to use as a back planner. Um, so I can have those plan with me's up and then I'll definitely have, um, hauls. Um, I was on a no, no spend for a while, but I went crazy recently. <laughs> so, um, there'll be a few is coming up I already recorded one so but I definitely wanted to do this one first just so you know I can introduce myself um and go from there I didn't want to just be like hey here's a haul but that haul will also include makeup hauls um because I think like a lot of other people in the cl uh, planner community um we started off with makeup or at least I did um, that was my biggest obsession first was makeup and then I came across um, the planner community um, and that's how this started but I love it it's definitely a uh, very therapeutic for me it's a stress reliever um, I do have really really bad anxiety um, so this definitely helps me cope, but, um, yeah, so I'll definitely throw in some makeup stuff here and there. Um, I do subscribe to the BoxyCharm Premium. Um, you'll see in that haul that I did haul the BoxyCharm Base Box, um, but that was my first and only one because the only reason why I wanted it was for the premium. Um, but I hope you guys like the haul. Um, I'm definitely getting used to filming setup, so some things may look different, um, some things may change, I hope not too much, but um, definitely leave me a comment if you have any <laughs> tips or tricks um, or any recommendations. But I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. But 
yeah if you have any additional questions just leave them down below um i'm so sad looking at these gymnastic stickers my daughter was in so many activities before the pandemic um hit and she just completely stopped now not only am i sad that she's not doing them but now i have all these stickers but i'm keeping them in the hopes that you know she'll go back soon but who is ready for halloween like i'm i'm like wondering if i should do just halloween spreads in this new planner <laughs> i won't do it but i'm just so ready for fall like i'm at the point where i already did all of my daughter's school supply shopping and um i even already bought like most of christmas presents even though i'm not ready for christmas but um i feel like target does this christmas in july type thing they don't really announce it but they always um put a lot of toys and stuff on clearance to make room for the holidays and i try to stock up on um you know christmas presents at that time because they're so inexpensive and because my kids are so small um they don't really care about keeping on trend so you know a, to a new toy is a new toy to them they don't care if it just came out yesterday or if it came out you know a few months ago but speaking of halloween oh i can't wait but i'll try my best to leave all of the sticker shops down below um if i miss anything or if you have any questions just leave me a comment and i am more than happy to let you know um all the ones that are cut off at the top are either the old paper shire or fox and cactus so if you don't see the names up top but yeah that is everything i hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you in the next one please don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys